Hello and welcome to the fourth film in our Construction Drawings series. In it, we show you how a construction drawing is created and take you through the drawing process step by step. The first step is to determine the amount of space the finished drawing itself will occupy on the final construction plan. To do this, you must determine the length and width of the building to be drawn. Using a 1 to 200 floor plan, for example, and then calculate the size of the floor plan on a scale of 1 to 50. Then you need to position this rectangle on the A3 sheet you're using for your construction drawing. Make sure that the margins between the edge of the drawing and the top and bottom of the sheet and between the left-hand edge of the sheet and the title block are equal. Then draw in the floor plan using very fine pencil lines. The next step is to draw in all the wall edges as fine, barely visible guidelines. Continue each line past the intersection with the wall edge running at right angles to it. In architectural terminology, this is known as overrunning. It will help you draw subsequent lines right up to the intersection. Then do the same for the door and window openings. These lines should be very fine, but strong enough for you to be able to make them out as you continue drawing. Now we'll take a closer look at a section of the drawing so that we can consider the next steps. Here you can see the upper part of the studio space in a house with a terrace on the left and an entrance hall on the right. For the moment, your drawing contains nothing but light guidelines. The next step is to draw in the outer contours of the cut edges using a 1mm wide continuous line. A warning, 1mm lines are not drawn by simply running a blunt pencil over the paper and pressing hard. Start by drawing the contours of the line with a stroke that is firm but as fine as possible. Then complete the line by drawing a number of firm but fine parallel lines between the outlines. This process is known as filling in the line. Next, draw in the visible or projected edges of the openings. These are generally the top edges of window breasts or the projected edges of door or window lintels. A window breast is the portion of solid wall under a window. A lintel is the horizontal beam that spans a wall opening. You should draw these edges using continuous or dotted lines of the width specified in DIN 1356-1. Now it's time to mark in the opening symbols using continuous lines of the appropriate weight. The direction of opening of French and standard doors is indicated by a line drawn at an angle of 90 degrees from the wall and connected by a quarter circle to the other side of the opening. Some textbooks advocate a line drawn at a 45 degree angle to illustrate the door opening, but we do not recommend this practice because it does not illustrate the actual space required to open the door. Then comes the comparatively simple step of drawing in the cutting plane. This indicates the imaginary plane that cuts through the building to create longitudinal and cross sections to show the vertical profile of the house. Next. Draw in the hatching that indicates the materials used to construct the house. The last step is to inscribe the component dimensions and add any captions and text blocks required. This is a topic we will look at in greater detail in the next film. Hatching indicates the material from which a construction element is made. A wall drawn using two thick parallel lines provides no information as to the material, brickwork or concrete for example, from which it is to be built. DIN 1356-1 Table 8 specifies the type of hashing to be used for each material. Alongside the components of the building shell, it also indicates the hatching to be used for facade and fit-out elements. Hatching is very important in making a construction drawing easy to read. Some concrete building components are reinforced. This means that steel is integrated in the concrete to make the component more rigid. This type of concrete is known as reinforced concrete. Concrete that contains no steel is called non-reinforced concrete. Reinforced and non-reinforced concrete and masonry are represented by means of lines drawn close together at a 45 degree angle. Placing graph paper rotated about 45 degrees beneath your tracing paper makes drawing this type of hatching considerably easier. Summary 
a construction drawing is created in a number of steps. 1. Determine the size of the final drawing on a scale of 1 to 50. 2. Transfer this floor plan to a sheet of A3 paper, taking care to ensure the correct margins. 3. Draw in the wall edges and door and window openings as fine guidelines. 4. Mark in the outer contours of cut edges. 5. Draw in the visible or projected edges of openings. 6. Mark in opening symbols. 7. Draw in the cutting plane. 8. Use hatching to indicate the material of cut components. 9. Add component dimensions, labels and text blocks. Our construction drawing series continues with film number 5. In it, we discuss how to enter dimensions and labels on construction drawings.